Imagine a tiny thread, invisible to the naked eye, curled up inside nearly every cell of your body. This is DNA, the fundamental blueprint for life. It's astonishing to think that within this microscopic molecule lies the complete instruction manual for building and operating a human being. But even more astonishing is DNA's ability to store information, not just biological data, but potentially digital data as well. Today, we're re-diving into the mind-blowing storage capacity of DNA and what it might mean for the future of technology and humanity. DNA has been shaped by billions of years of evolution to be an incredibly efficient data storage system. Inside each strand are sequences of four chemical bases, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. These are often abbreviated as A, C, G, and T. The order of these bases acts like letters in a code, spelling out instructions for everything from eye color to disease resistance. What's incredible is how densely this information is packed. If you were to stretch out the DNA in a single human cell, it would measure about two meters long. Yet it fits into a nucleus that's only a tiny fraction of a millimeter wide. And it does so while holding an amount of data that rivals our most advanced digital technologies. To give you a sense of scale without using specific numbers, consider this. All the genetic information needed to make you is compacted into each of your trillions of cells. Now imagine taking all the data in every book ever written, every film ever made, and every digital photo ever taken and storing it inside a volume no larger than a sugar cube. That, as the level of potential we are talking about when scientists explore DNA as a medium for digital storage. The concept of storing digital data in DNA might sound like science fiction, but researchers have already proven it's possible. They could have encoded everything from poetry to music into synthetic DNA and then retrieved it with near-perfect accuracy. Instead of ones and zeros like traditional computers use, DNA storage converts digital information into sequences of A, C, G, and T. These sequences are then synthesized into actual strands of DNA, which can be preserved for hundreds, if not thousands, of years without degradation, provided the right conditions. What makes DNA even more attractive as a storage medium is its durability. While hard drives and flash memory degrade over time, DNA is remarkably stable. Ancient DNA samples tens of thousands of years old have been recovered and read, offering insights into extinct species and ancient civilizations. That same robustness can be applied to storing human knowledge far into the future, well beyond the lifespan of our current storage technologies. Of course, we're not quite there yet in terms of cost and accessibility. Synthesizing and reading DNA is still expensive and time-consuming. However, costs have been falling steadily, and the technology continues to improve. Just as computers once took up entire rooms and are now small enough to fit in our pockets, DNA storage may eventually become commonplace. The goal is not to replace current forms of data storage entirely, but to provide a new option for archiving vast amounts of information in a compact, reliable form. There's also something poetic about the idea of using the code of life to preserve the legacy of human culture. DNA storage bridges biology and technology in a way that challenges our ideas of what information is and how it can be preserved. It prompts us to think not just about capacity, but about meaning. After all, when we store data in DNA, we are not just copying files, we are embedding human knowledge into the very fabric of life itself. Looking ahead, the potential applications are staggering. Imagine spacecraft carrying DNA archives of human history to distant planets, or libraries that store their entire collections in test tubes rather than warehouses. The fusion of biological and digital memory could even lead to new ways of integrating artificial intelligence with the human body, where DNA becomes both a vessel of heredity and a platform for future knowledge. In unlocking the storage power of DNA, we are not only solving one of today's CUS pressing problems, how to store the ever-growing flood of data, but we are also tapping into one of nature, U.S. most elegant and enduring solutions. It's a reminder that sometimes, 
the most advanced technology isn't something we create from scratch, but something we rediscover in the blueprints of life itself.